Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. It's been a while since I've done a report on Yellowstone, but it looks like today it's going to kick in with more activity and earthquakes. We've got magma on the move. You can see there's a lot of steam coming up right now from the river. Yep, I want to show you the, uh, yeah, look at that. It's snowing there. Here we have the tilt meter for Grant, which is on the southwest side of Yellowstone Lake. Lots of dots, as you guys know, that follow me. means lots of activity. Yeah, it's been breathing. Top measures north. X is north. Y measures east. And what they're doing is measuring which direction the magma that's flowing under the ground, which direction is going. Seven days. Yeah, mostly east, but it's spreading out a little bit. Last seven days. And this is significant. This is the last 30 days of activity at Grant. So here we have Yellowstone Lake. Grant Village is down over here. I'll zoom in over there. Up towards the top, we have the fishing bridge. That's where uh, the borehole, it's a very deep well under the ground for the monitor for Yellowstone Lake. Before I, well, let me go to Grant real quick. Here we have Grant. Now, this is an area that I've talked about in the past where they're having earthquake swarms, where the magma was trying to come up. They put a new monitor in this area right here. That's when the borehole for Grant went down several years ago, so they put that in, but it's not a borehole. Anyways, I want to go, uh, and I've talked about the activity at Yellowstone Lake. And how Bob Smith, who's worked there at USGS, uh, University of Utah, for about 50 years, talked about this area in yellow being the area that will probably have the next eruption. And all the activity I've been showing you has mostly been at Yellowstone Lake and down here by the Promontory. The Norris Junction Madison River area hasn't been having a lot of activity. There's been some small earthquakes by Hedgen Lake. Uh, today there was a magnitude 1.1. Uh, yesterday there was a 0 0.7, same location. Maybe I should bring this in a little bit farther so you can see it. A 0 0.3. Um, that's way off over here. Then we got um, a minus 0 0.1, a 1.9. That was on the 11th up there by Heaven Lake. Now that's an area of a hot spring where that man jumped in to get his dogs that jumped into a hot spring and were being burned. And yeah, he got burned. Um, I can't remember now. I think he died. But this is close to the area where that accident happened several years ago. Nothing in the last week in this location by Yellowstone Lake, even though they've been happening. So the first one I want to go to, marked in red, there at Yellowstone Lake and Little West Thumb, is this one here at 1121. Okay, we got magma on the move, hot gases. And over here on the left, that is the monitor for um, the Norris Geyser Basin area. Now, if you come down here, why I say the activity is going to be starting up, look at the line of melt that's going on here uh, for the borehole for a uh, Yellowstone Lake. And we'll come down here for a little west thumb. Yeah, it's been kicking in. This top monitor is for Yellowstone Lake. This one here in the middle is little west thumb. And this one here at the bottom is Norris Junction. Yeah, we got thickening of the lines, which means magma is on the move. Now, this monitor right here is for Yellowstone Lake. That's the section I took it from. And I'll extract it again and move it over so you can see a little bit more. I want you to look at this and that then I'm going to extract from um, the Norris Geyser Basin. Hold on. Yeah.
same signature. Magma is on the move. Same time, this is Little West Film. Looks like an earthquake just came in. Several small ones. I'll extract those. All right, and I'll pull it over so you can see it a little better. These are small microquakes. So the monitor that I showed you in red that the computer picked up, I'm going to extract it from here. Right there, that is Little West Thumb. And this one here is for Yellowstone Lake. Right there. Yellowstone Lake's got a very small P wave on it. And if I enlarge it, let's see if I can make it larger. You can see the P wave. This is from the monitor there at Little West Thumb. I'll make that one bigger. See how the P wave is shorter? It means it's closer. So again, that would be that earthquake right there that the computer picked up, but USGS isn't reporting. The next earthquake marked in red would be this one right here at 7.50. right there and let's see what it did here at the norris geyser basin area lots of melt lighter the color means the hotter the rock um, melt is melted rock and not all rock melts at the same temperature let's look at its signature here it's got a p wave and the signature there we got another one marked in red well let me go to this this is the second earthquake right there and we'll extract that and we'll make it larger very small p wave and then we'll extract this one at little west thumb and we'll make it larger there we go so that's that one marked in red. And then we got another one up here marked in red at Little West Thumb. If I can get it. Right there. Uh, looks like it's right there. 2345. Not being reported. Let's see if I can find it. There you go. And let's take a look at the spectrogram. A little bit more activity at Little West Thumb this time than at Yellowstone Lake. So that would be that earthquake right there. And there's been other ones. Let me go back another four hours because there was another one um, right there. Um, and I'll pull this down. Now, this earthquake right here was probably Stanley, um, Idaho there. And it's got a longer P wave. There you go. See how much longer that P wave is? The P wave is the first wave of the earthquake. That's the rumbling you hear prior to an earthquake. And then the S wave comes in second. The reason it comes in second is because it's got to go around the curve of the earth around the outside edge of the earth. Here we have the tilt meter for Norris Junction. Like I said, not much has been going on there. I don't think that's going to remain the same after today. On the last seven days, this is a borehole, 950. Top is north, bottom is east. And then um, the tilt meter, you see X is north, Y is east. Looks like the magma is trending under the ground going east. And then the last 30 days, very small uplift. We got a burst here and then a larger burst there. Top is north, bottom is east. And you can see here that the magma is traveling under the ground, going east. Yellowstone Lake for the last seven days. X is north, Y is east. Look at the dip that it took around the 13th and 14th. And again, this is what the magma has been doing. Yeah, traveling east for the last seven days and then the last 30 days. See right there, 30 days. 
Again, more activity at Yellowstone Lake. The tilt meter for the Madison River area. Again, this is close to the Norris Geyser base, Basin. X is north, Y is east, last seven days. Magma trending east under the ground. And then the last 30 days. Look at that. Now this is set at two microradians. Another monitor, a borehole, a very deep well under the ground for the Norris Geyser Basin. Last seven days. Top is north, bottom is east. And look what it did. Look what it's doing. Yeah, wham. All of a sudden it's decided to change directions. All right, we'll go down to the last 30 days. There you go. But it's been traveling east, and then all of a sudden we got this sudden little change. Um, yeah, what's going on with the magma under the ground? Did it create a new dike under the ground where all of a sudden it found another channel to move through? And this is east, and Yellowstone Lake is east of the Norris Junction Madison River area. Yeah, they brought the live webcam back. What, a week, week and a half ago? Um, they're currently looking at Old Faithful. The camera keeps stopping and going, stopping and going. But some other news I thought was kind of interesting that's going on there at Yellowstone. For the first time ever, a wolverine was caught on a uh, wild trail cam there at Yellowstone. First thing I thought about when I seen the wolverine was the movie called Red Dawn. That was the uh, high school's uh, mascot, the Wolverine. With all the stuff that's going on in the world, yeah, um, is this symbolic? I'll give you a link to the original article. It's on a sports page called For the Win. Um, they do have a nature journalist that works for them, and once in a great while they put little articles on here, and yeah, I was surprised. And then another article that I found, I'll give you a link to that. It was on uh, ktvq.com, how they had to kill a coyote there at the park because um, it was actually grabbing food out of people's hands, getting uh, too much uh, domesticated. Yeah, so they put it down last month. They killed it. I think the only reason they brought back the live webcam is that Old Faithful is getting back to normal in the times that it's supposed to erupt. It's going back to um, every 90 minutes or so. It's not supposed to go off um, for another half hour at least, but it's been trying. Um, yeah, I think they closed it down because of the uh, unusual activity that it was showing. But anyways, that's all I have for you right now. we got to Keep an eye on that activity for Yellowstone Lake. Like I said, Bob Smith believes that up north there, um, that thermal area will be the next location for an eruption. It will be at least as large as the eruption for Mount St. Helens, if not larger, when it decides to go. And only God knows when that's going to happen. Um, but the way the earthquakes are increasing around the world, yeah, we got to keep a close eye on it. So, if you have any thoughts or comments or questions, please put it down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.